रूरल एजुकेशन अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक नॉट ओनली फॉर योर यू पी एस सी दिस टाइम बट ऑल्सो फॉर नेट ट्रांसपेरेंस सो इन दिस सेशन वी वुड बी फोकसिंग ऑन फ्यू ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम्स निष्ठा नीट एंड विशाक आर सम ऑफ द मेजर स्कीम्स दैट वी वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट बिसाइज दैट यू हैव द मुक कोर्सेज दीक्षा पोर्टल यू हैव ई पाठशाला ऑल ऑफ दोज आर सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट वुड बी कवर्ड इन दिस एडिशन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट द पॉलिसी for rural development and mainly the education so if you look around the status of education we have some of the literacy values for the rural areas vis a vis the urban areas then we have the proportion of literate proportion of rural women as compared to the urban women so definitely there has been a huge divide in terms of the rural and the urban population that is seen also if we look on to the computer and the internet you have a higher proportion of people in the urban area with nearly 29% of the proportion who, of people who have facility to a computer in contrast to only 6% in the rural area so department of school education and literacy higher education uh, uh, are some of the departments which are working to achieve those now national achievement survey is government's one of the largest survey which is conducted across the world for nearly 2.2 million students from across more than 1 lakh schools so definitely it's a kind of learning outcomes that are being derived based on competencies and it's one of the unique uh, surveys of its kind across the globe and now talking about the various categorizations of school you have jawahar navodaya vidyalay jawahar navodaya vidyalay are the schools based in the rural area where you have talented students who are actually picked up from the class 6 to 12 and they are uh, given a kind of education in the jawahar vidyalayas so those are a very very important aspect of it under the samragh shiksha abhiyan we are talking about expansion of the jawahar navodaya vidyalay we are also talking about eklavya residential model schools digital initiatives and according to it now samragh shiksha again a very very important topic as i said for net exam also these topics are very very important so what are the schemes which have become part of it the first is the sar शिक्षा अभियान यू हैव राष्ट्रीय माध्यमिक शिक्षा अभियान एंड टीचर्स एजुकेशन सो थ्री ऑफ दीज स्कीम्स हैव बीन सब्ज्यूम्ड अंडर द समृद्ध शिक्षा यू आल्सो हैव प्रेफरेंस टू स्पेशल फोकस डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स एजुकेशनली बैकवर्ड डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स एंड द लेफ्ट विंग अफेक्टेड डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स सो दोज आर सम ऑफ द स्पेसिफिक एरियाज देयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हेन इट कम्स टू गर्ल एजुकेशन यू हैव द कस्तूरबा गांधी बालिका विद्यालय दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड विद एन अल्टीमेट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ पढ़े भारत बड़े bharat you have these schemes which have been incorporated along with the information and technology that is included into it when i say kasturba uh, gandhi balika vidyalay it's mainly for class 6 to 12 in each of the educationally backward areas there would be at least one residential school that would be coming up so you have more than 6 lakh rural girls hailing from sc st obc and minority background which would be benefited mid day meal scheme is another way to reduce the dropouts in the schools uh, also to attract the students from the minority section from the disadvantaged section. uh eklavya model residential schools is a special schools which are being developed for mainly the scheduled tribe students in the remote areas inaccessible areas and providing them free and quality education is one of the objectives here so you have Uh, numerous initiatives like swachh vidyalay initiative which talks about repair of the infrastructure uh, facilities you have operation digital board where you talk about introducing digital boards in the schools e pathshala is the ele- electronic version of the ncrts that are available diksha portal is a digital platform for teachers across all the categories you have mooc courses and swayam prabha now mooc and swayam prabha we have separately covered in one of the lectures so just go back and check out the lectures there swayam prabha you have the 32 dth uh, channels that are there and it's again very very important as part of the repository you have the ndl which is the national digital library that is part of it you also have transformational uh, transformation of aspirational districts Now this was brought about in the All India Survey for Higher Education, where we have more than 993 universities and numerous colleges which are part of this portal. 
Under this, you have a very unique initiative, very very important this time. What is Nishtha? It is a national initiative for school heads and teachers' holistic advancement. So it aims to bring in capacity building for nearly 42 lakh elementary school children. You have block level coordinators and cluster resource centers which would be developed. Also, teachers would be well equipped and aimed to create. Uh, critical thinking within the students. Then we have the draft new education policy. This draft new education policy is unique in itself because it aims to bring an integrated four-year BA program and this four-year four year BA program would be able to bring in direct employment, guaranteed employment on completion of the course. Also those two teachers who are willing to go into the rural areas would be provided with accommodation facilities. You have ATL, that's the Atal Tinkering Lab, which would be the part of the Atal Innovation Mission under the Niti Aayog, encouraging research and innovation among the students. You have Unnat Bharat Abhiyan, where you would have higher educational institutions that would be linked with five villages. And the idea would be to enhance the learning activities in those five villages. Also, there would be Swachh Bharat summer internship programs uh, for the work of Swachhata. You would have 100 hours of Swachhata related activities, mainly Shramdan that would be there. The next is strategies to promote the rural education. Now, how do you think rural education is aimed to? We started with the Sar Shiksha Abhiyan, which is now subsumed under the Samragya Shiksha Abhiyan, as we already said. Under the Niti Aayog, we have a new aspect, which is Saath, that is the sustainable action for transforming human capital. Now, this program started mainly in Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh and Odisha. India is home to 7% of the population and 8% of the total schools in these three states. So to create better schools, enhance the human capacity, uh, the resource capacity in those areas and improve the learning outcome has been one of the key aspects. So Niti Aayog released SEQI which is the School Education Quality Index. Now this is uh, a kind of ranking process which is based on uh, learning outcomes, equity, access, infrastructure, good governance and so on. The next is how do we impact the education system? So you have the RTE that's the right to education that was introduced for children between the age of 6 to 14 years. Now all the children who have a fundamental rights between the age of 6 to 14 years would be categorized under this. So all the private schools should have at least 25% of the seats absolutely free of cost for children from the disadvantaged group. You also have the provisions for better student teacher ratio, minimum infrastructure uh, that should be required, better classrooms, better uh, playgrounds that could be developed, better evaluation process and an eight factor analysis that is part of it. Also, the non-minority private unaided schools should reserve 25% of the entry level seats for the disadvantaged groups. MHRD has started with another scheme which is NEAT. What is NEAT? Very very important question this time. National Education Alliance for Technology. Now, with an idea to improve the higher education learning outcomes, we have use of artificial intelligence, use of technology. So edtech companies are coming in. You have better technological solutions, better uh, awareness programs between the students and teachers that have been released. Deepening of teachers education mainly by uh, creating much more engaging contents, engaging uh, courses, good pedagogical approaches, leveraging the information communication technology, redesigning the professional development courses and so on. So those are some of the important aspects. Now, as I said, under the draft national education policy, we are talking about teachers focusing on the teachers because they are the ones that impart values, knowledge, creativity, ethics among the children. So block resource centers and cluster resource centers can flourish a good academic link with the district institutes which is known as the diets. You also have the state level institutes under SCERTs improving the quality of teachers and teaching education is another important aspect that has been picked up.
country has nearly 10 lakh teacher vacancies so uh, in some of the ratio uh, some of the areas the ratio of teacher to student is very very poor so it's 1 is to 60 a very very poor ratio with one teacher on 60 students again you have financial issues which comes in the form of salary promotion retirement benefits so how the efficacy could be improved promoting teachers to enter into the rural areas uh, Fill in all the subject vacancies that are there in the next two years, creating much more safer infrastructure, much more attractive and technologically advanced regions, bringing teachers with more autonomy in choosing the curriculum, giving them an opportunity for self-improvement. So the recommendations mainly talk about professional development, uh, developing core teaching strategies and good material for students. Now how local community gets involved? As we talked about the literacy rate, we have number of surveys which have been done and Pratham is one of the organizations that has talked about that 50% of the children in class 5 are unable to read the class 2 textbooks. So if that's the level of the quality of education, definitely you have the grassroots initiatives that needs to be improved, local level governance and self-help groups needs to come forward and resolve the issue, bring in local solutions, manage midday skills, um, midday meals and rule out the problem of absenteeism of the teacher and bring in better infrastructure facilities. So when it comes to teachers uh, education, there can be two types of training institutes that could be uh, coming up. Two year training for those who have taken the school leaving certificate one year training for graduate students and then under the recommendation that was given under the national policy of education 1986 you had teacher under the pre-service and in-service components which are inseparable then you have more thrusts that were uh, created mainly for new structures strengthening the existing education systems and appointing teachers training. So you have the Nishtai scheme that we have already talked about which aims to bring about the enhancement of 42 lakh teachers headed by NCRT and NEPA. Uh, you also have revised norms with 15 teacher education programs that are talked about under the JS Verma committee reports. Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya scheme on national mission of teaching was initiated in 2014 and talks about improving the quality of teachers and professionalism. You also have nearly 19,000 teachers educational institutions uh, of which 92% are privately owned so, and most of those belong to the rural areas. You have huge number of stakeholders working in the rural areas but there are a lot of issues in terms of the quality of teacher, infrastructural facilities, absenteeism problems. You have uh, the dropout ratios, availability of the teacher, better professional development courses that could be introduced. Again, infrastructure is another major con concern. So you have computer-aided learning programs which aim to attract the rural level students. Uh, so you have uh, all the schemes which are part of the Samragri Shiksha are working with the computer-aided learning programs. Then coming on to financial literacy or digital literacy. When I say digital literacy, the idea is to bring people or make people much more comfortable with technological solutions. So it could be mainly in the form of banking where you have UPI, Beam that has been introduced. You have ideas of financial independence that have been created, opening of bank accounts, prevention of indebtedness, prevention of exploitation by the landholders, behavioral changes that could take place, financial markets and the national education for financial uh, education is another important aspect which is part of the financial education system bank account, insurance, retirement saving plans are again important. So under the financial solutions you have saving, spending, insurance and managing debts that are really important. So some of the important platforms for digital literacy include Digital India Platform, Direct Benefit Transfer, you have Aadhaar Scheme, Sugamme Bharat is important which is specifically meant for specially able children. You have Agri Market app for agriculture and the farmer uh, to get reinforced with Cyber Swachhata Kendra, Beam and UPI as we already talked about, Vidya uh, Sans uh Sakshata Abhyan, which is also known as Vishaka, is a very good initiative of MHRD where you are trying to bring in uh, cashless transfers 
to all the higher educational institutes and the educational institutes so encouraging people to pay on a cashless basis is the vishaka scheme very very important you also have many more uh, schools pilot schools that are coming up which are working on very very different and varied models so those are some of the very important topics that have been covered in this kurukshetra and as i mentioned this kurukshetra is highly important for students preparing for your net exam nation with higher education as one of the focus along with those preparing for upsc we will be bringing the coverage every uh, monthly so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead